Hello everyone, this is Navanita. Now we are going to study the topic from gravitation. That is, can we measure the weight of free fall body? Right. Now, take a spring balance and uh, suspend it to the ceiling. Okay. So, we have to take a spring balance and suspend it to the ceiling and put some weight to it. Okay. Now, we have to note the reading of the spring balance. Okay. So, when we put some weight to this spring balance, so at that time it will show some reading in inside of the scale. Okay. We have to note down that value. Now, drop the spring balance with the load from certain height to fall freely. Right? So, searching carefully, observe the change in the position of indicator on the spring's balance scale while it is in free fall. So, we can observe in this 14a figure the reading at point here. Right? So, when it is suspended to ceiling, it, will, it is showing here some value. Now, when it is dropped, right? So, when it is dropped from a certain height to fall freely, you can observe here the change in position of indicator, right? On this spring balance scale. So, what changes do you notice in the readings of spring balance in about two instances? Are the readings same? If not, why? Right? So, here, when the spring balance is suspended from the ceiling, the reading of the indicator shows the weight of object hanging from its foot. Okay? So, here, when the spring balance is allowed to fall, okay, when the spring balance is allowed to fall freely with the load, its indicator shows zero reading. Okay, it is showing zero reading here. Right? So, when it is suspended from the ceiling, the reading of the indicator shows the weight of the hanging from its hook here. Okay, so when it is uh, allowed to fall freely with the load, so, in its indicator shows zero reading here. Right? So, here. These readings are not the same. So, when the spring balance is allowed to fall down, it's the total weight of the balance and the object that were pulled down towards the earth center. So, here, the two readings are not equal here. Okay, so some of you might have the experience of diving into a swimming pool from a certain height. So how do you feel during free fall of your body from a height? So we will the weight lossness. Yes, so we feel the weight lossness of our body during the free fall of our body from a height. Okay. So we feel weightlessness of our body. We feel our body is very weightless. Okay. During the free fall of our body from a height. Now observe. Observing the changes during the free fall of your body. So observe this figure 15A and 15B carefully here. First of all we have to take a transparent ray and make holes or opposite sides okay now take two to three rubber bands and tie them tightly as you can see figure here yes so we are taking a transparent ray and we are make holes here on opposite sides now we have to take two to three rubber bands and tie them tightly close to each other between the holes. 
So now place a stone on the bands. Okay, as shown here. So now, do the bands bend? Yes. Here the rubber bands bend. You can see in the figure 15a. Here the rubber bands bend. Now, drop the tray with stone. Okay. Now, drop the tray with stone. Now, what happens? Here, the rubber bands comes to horizontal position. Okay. So, here the rubber bands comes to horizontal position. Though, the stone is still resting on them. Okay. So, here... The results in free fall here in spring mass activity the reading becomes zero. Right? So in jumping the man feels weightlessness. So in this the bands are straight. Okay. So when this tray drop from drop with a stone here the bands are straight. You can observe in this figure. Right? So, no stretch occurs in the rubber bands. Right? So, we treated the weight of an object acts as a force due to gravity upon it. Okay? We treated the weight of an object as a force due to gravity upon it. When in equilibrium on a frame surface. So, here... Weight is balanced by a support force or when in suspension by a supporting tension. So, in either case with no acceleration, weight equals to mg here. Okay. So, here this weight equals to mg. m is a mass and g is a acceleration. Right? So, a support force can occur without regard to gravity. So, here the definition of the weight of something is a net force it exerts against a support. Okay? 